We have some news just coming in. Politics over the shirt that Rahul Gandhi wore, and this is only escalating. BJP has mocked Congress's Rahul for PM, which Amit Malviya says met European tourists in t shirts, asked if they were contenders for PM posts as well. Malviya tweeted this morning, I met two European tourists at the India Gate. They were out for a morning walk in half sleeve t shirts. I asked if they were also contenders for Congress's. PM's position, they laughed, said they were used to low temperatures, besides a brisk walk, warmed them up. Rahul Gandhi was seen wearing a t-shirt in the blistering cold in Delhi city. Just two days ago, these are pictures of Rahul Gandhi just wearing a t-shirt. And it's about three to four degrees in Delhi today, where questions are being raised on whether he feels cold or not. But jokes apart, the BJP has raised this matter, saying that those who are in fact wearing half sleeve t shirts. Amit Malviya happened to meet two of them. These were European tourists. And uh, he essentially asked them whether they too were contenders for Congress's PM position. Amit Malviya is with us. Amit Malviya, do share your anecdote with us. What really happened there? Well, I was quite amused with the kind of uh, chatter around Rahul Gandhi being in a half sleeve t shirt. I thought it was quite unusual for the Congress party to focus on his attire and not what he was saying. Perhaps he has nothing of substance to say. So it just so happened I went to the India Gate today early in the morning and there were some European tourists, much like Rahul Gandhi, who is a tourist in this country. Most of the time he's abroad. And I asked them if they too were contenders for the Congress PM's position because that seems to be the only qualification that you should be able to walk around in a half sleeve t-shirt in the months of uh, winter perhaps December, January. So they laughed it off, saying that no, they were used to cold temperatures and a good morning walk, a brisk one, warms up the body. Well, perhaps that's also the case with Rahul Gandhi, but the Congress would want to project it as some kind of a great renunciation act, which I don't think it is. Okay. Also, comparisons with the, with the God that has been made by the Congress party, what do you make of that also? Tell us a little about that. I think yes. the Congress party must realize that these kind of analogies that they give really does not color them in any good light, particularly since the Congress party has denied the existence of Lord Ram for the longest time. And for somebody like Salman Khurshi to make those uh, comparisons in the context of Uttar Pradesh, where Rahul Gandhi is not even visiting and lost from Amethi, I think it's laughable, besides the fact that it hurts the sentiments of billions of Hindus around the world. I'm going to thank you for the moment. We'll also try and get in a word from the Congress on what you have said essentially. But uh, viewers, this moment where Rahul Gandhi was wearing just a t-shirt, uh, when Delhi's reporting temperatures as low as 3 to 4 degrees, was obviously for everyone to just sit back and think about whether he feels cold or not. But obviously it's Rahul Gandhi and wherever there is Rahul Gandhi, how can there be no politics?